No, who am I kidding? We're beauty bloggers. We need like every color on the rainbow and the same color in like five different formulas. Like this is the coolest sample ever. It was love at first swatch. I was like, okay, I guess I need to get it. I need to try this. I need to see what the hype is about. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Thank you guys so much for stopping by. So this is going to be the second part of the holiday haul. You guys did see all the stuff that I purchased at Ulta and the damage I did there. So now it's time for the Sephora damage. So I did use my VIB Rouge, the 20% off because I'm Rouge because I spend too much money at Sephora. It is what it is. So I have my box and I did order online because I didn't really have time to go in the store. So it was the perfect opportunity to get 20% off for the VIB Rouge and then also hit my level for Rouge for 2016. So here is my lovely box. So I'll just take things off the top since I did go through the box. I am using a lot of the products on my face today. I did decide to try them out. So I have like a few first impressions of at least things that I've tried. So I'll tell you right now the two big boxes. These were reward points that I redeemed. So I got the YSL Covetable Couture Beauty Icons box. This was a $500 perk. And this is everything that's in here. So you get the volumizing mascara, you get their blur primer, a tint and oil, and then a black opium perfume. So I'm really excited to try this. I actually really got it because of the tint and oil because I've heard so many good things about these. I've also never tried a YSL mascara. I've heard mixed reviews on the primer, but if it's a travel size, it will be perfect, or if I don't really like it, I can always give it to somebody else. But really excited to try the tint and oil. I also redeemed 500 points on this Buxom four-piece collection for eyes and lips. I've had like 2,000 points, and so I never redeemed the points, and so these are pretty good 500 perks, so I figured why not. Um, I'll show you guys these since the box is kind of, some of the boxes were really banged up when I got here. So I'll just take these out to show you. So this comes with an eyeliner in the color I'll Be Waiting, which looks like this really pretty silver color. You do get their Buxom Vanity Lash Mascara. And then this one is a full-on lip polish in Sophia. I have one in Danny, and I really like it. And then this is a full-on lip cream in the color Cure Royal or Cure Royale. As an E at the end. That's what that looks like right there. So I will be doing either a blog post or a review on these boxes. So I'll do those separately. That's why I'm really not going to swatch any of these. But if you want to see the swatches for these reviews on these products, let me know. I will do both of those 500 perks separate. The next thing in here, this is the Kat Von D Shade and Light Eye Palette. It is what I used on my eyes today. I really like it. I mean, to be honest, I've been dying for this palette for a while and I've been wanting to buy it forever and I never bought it. So this was my opportunity. I like the way my eye look came out and I love the colors. I think they're absolutely gorgeous. They blended really well. The pigmentation is beautiful. I think I'm going to love this the more I try it out. But then next from Kat Von D, this is the Lolita Lip Duo. I know this is two of the mini everlasting lipsticks in Lolita and Lolita 2. So this is what the Lip Duo looks like. I will do review and swatches for you guys on the blog. But these are so cute. So there's Lolita and Lolita 2. And I really like this one. I've never actually had Lolita because every time I went to my Sephora or any Sephora, it was always sold out. So I've never actually owned it. So I'm really excited to try this one. And Lolita 2 just looked really pretty as well. So I'm super excited. And I love that they're these little mini ones. I mean, honestly, I have so many lip products that I don't need full-size products. Like, I'd rather buy these mini ones because the chances of me going through an entire lipstick is very rare. So I guess we'll stick with the Kat Von D theme I got going on and I also got this one but this is a gift and of course it's a gift and the box is like smashed but this is the Kat Von D Lip Vixen Duo so it has a nude mini studded kiss lipstick and then the mini everlasting liquid lipstick and the studded kiss lipstick is in Noble which is a matte petal pink nude and then this one is in Outlaw, which is a brick red. I do own Outlaw and I really like it. So I decided to give this one as a gift because I thought it was perfect. You have a nude lipstick and you have a red. I mean, those are really all the colors you need, right? <laughs> no, who am I kidding? We're beauty bloggers. We need like every color on the rainbow and the same color in like five different formulas. And then next, because everyone else bought it, so I felt like I needed to get it. So I bought this big bad boy and I'm pretty sure everyone got it for the VIB Rouge because... This was expensive, and it's not your typical everyday 
palette, but it was perfect to use with the discount. Like everyone else has been saying, I'm sure you guys have seen tons of reviews on this product. It is huge. It's bigger than my face, so it's definitely not a travel palette, but I mean, unless you're like really into colors on a day-to-day -day basis, like you're not gonna really travel with this palette anyways. I went to art school and we had a class called Color and Design, and we actually had to make a color wheel like this. Like we had to paint swatches out of gouache and make a color wheel like this. So this palette also speaks to me as an art student because I know how to make this color wheel painstaking but these colors are absolutely beautiful I haven't swatched any yet so let's like first impression swatch some of them oh yeah these are nice so those are some colors right there look at that blue oh my gosh that blue right there this is this color right here synth so I love I think this palette is really great because I love that it has all the colors and then it has the neutrals in the middle so if you'd like me to do a tutorial with this or a separate review let me know I will maybe do a simply swatches and just do all the swatches in case anyone's curious about those but so far I think it's beautiful I definitely think this is like you sit it on your vanity it's a beautiful art piece as well as a palette and I think if you're somebody that doesn't do colors often this would be a good palette because it has every shade of color you might want between the like bright yellows and the lime greens like traditional colors that aren't in most well-rounded palettes so you could just get this one and be done with your colors and not have to get another palette of colors then i got two of the makeup forever skin equalizers these are the travel size because i wasn't sure how i was gonna like them and i'm going on a trip in january so i figured i might as well just buy the travel ones anyways because if i really like them then i'll take them with me and if i don't then i take them back so i did get the mattifying primer which i used i used both of them today so i did use this one and it's kind of a weird consistency. It felt like when I put it on my face, it was like really hard to blend it out. But that makes me excited because that means it's like truly sucking up all the oils. And I'm hoping it's going to keep me matte. I mean, on my viewfinder, I kind of look a little oily. But I think it's just the direct sun. I'm not actually like, I mean, it is matte as heck over here. So I'm really excited to try this one out and keep testing it out. But so far, hard to blend, but I think it's a good thing. And then the second one I got, this is also a step one. This is the smoothing one. And I'm hit and miss with these smoothing primers because I have pitted scarring. It doesn't always really smooth, but it really did actually smooth any tiny pores. It doesn't really still do the smoothing of the scars. It did make them less noticeable. But where I actually have, like on my nose, I don't have any scarring, I just have pores, smooth them out. And I dislike the Benefit Professional. It's nothing against Benefit, it's just with my skin, it doesn't do well with that silicone primer. But something about this one works really well, and I've actually like kept looking in the mirror at my skin today, and I think it's working. So I'm really excited to keep trying this one out and seeing if it's just this or if it's like the other skin stuff that I've been incorporating lately. And then I got this. This is the Origins Mask Trio. This one has the Clear Improvement Charcoal Mask, which I love, like love, love, love. But when I moved, I misplaced it and I've just been wanting to test out other ones. So I haven't gone back to the store to get it but I love this one. And then I got this, this is the Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask, and then this Out of Trouble 10 Minute Mask to Rescue Problem Skin. I bought this one specifically for traveling because whenever I travel, my skin sometimes doesn't really like traveling or the air changes, and I always wish that I had a face mask with me, but usually the face masks I have are the full size, and I don't wanna bring those, or they're not TSA regulated, so, these are perfect little, they're all one fluid ounce, so they're perfect for traveling. And because I'm obsessed with anything charcoal, I got this Boccia Trio, and I don't know why it's in a bag, not a box. I don't know if at Sephora it comes in a bag, or they just didn't have any more boxes, I don't know. But this is the Detoxifying Black Cleanser, which I've never tried, but excited to try that. The Revitalizing Black Hydration Gel, which I have never tried either. I've actually never tried a like gel moisturizer so I thought this was interesting and then this has a small luminizing black mask which I have the full size of and I love it it does kind of hurt sometimes when you pull it off like if you have like baby hairs around your eyebrows or like you know everyone kind of has like peach fuzz or like your like your hairline but this is a really great mask I love it and so that's what kind of made me want to buy the trio is because I love this Bosha product and I figured I might as well try the other ones and these are also really great for my trip and I got two NARS products my 
my first NARS products. I mean, I think I have something else from NARS, right? I don't know. I don't have any NARS lip products, that's for sure. So I did get two, and I am wearing the combo on my lips right now, which I'm obsessed with and I think it's gonna be perfect so I did buy one of the audacious lipsticks I have been debating about getting these for a long time they're so expensive but I figured if I can get a discount and I buy a color that I'm gonna wear all the time then it would be worth the purchase for me so I got Anita and this is Anita she's amazing she is absolutely beautiful um, I don't know where to swatch this here so that is Anita right there on the top. There's just this beautiful, everyday, vintage rose color. And once I put it on, I'm like, yes, I'm going to wear this every single day. I am going to get my money's worth out of this because I'm going to wear it every single day. It is the perfect everyday shade for me, and I'm so excited. It's so comfortable. The formula is amazing. I seriously don't know why it took me so long to get one of these, but like I said, they're very pricey for me in my opinion, so I don't know. I'm just one that I'd rather spend more money on an eyeshadow than a lip product because I have so many, and I don't always wear lip products on a daily basis, but that's why I bought a color that I would wear every day, and I'm seriously going to wear that every day. And then this was the other one that I got. This is the NARS Chelsea Girls uh, Lip Gloss. I have seen so many people talk about this when everyone freaked out when they discontinued it from the pot and then when they came out with it in a gloss I was like okay I guess I need to get it I need to try this I need to see what the hype is about and it's really pretty it's a gorgeous color I'm not usually like there it is right there I'm not usually a lip gloss on top of lipstick person but this combo is beautiful and looking in the viewfinder like it looks great on camera it looks great in person. It's very comfortable. This formula is not sticky. I'm definitely considering getting more of these NARS lip glosses because I never get lip glosses and I am not a lip gloss person, but this is such a comfortable formula. It's stunning. Just absolutely stunning. And this combo right here is probably going to be in my October favorites because I'm obsessed. It was love at first swatch. Then I got this one. This is the Elizabeth and James Nirvana Black Dry Shampoo. I don't really know how I feel about this. I did spray it yesterday and... I don't know how I like this scent. I just needed that like few more dollars to hit VIB Rouge and so I threw this in the cart because it was like seven bucks or something like that. I don't even know. Prices aren't on here. I don't remember how much this was but it was just enough to get me to VIB Rouge so I threw it in my basket and I heard from Kathleen Light she really liked it and it had the spray, it had the scent, it was a good dry shampoo. I don't know about the scent, I tried it last night so I'm gonna have to let you guys know on this one but I'm obsessed with dry shampoos so we'll see how this goes. And then this was really cool actually. This was another sample, this is the Dior Addict Lipstick and I was like okay I don't remember if I think it was just a sample because I don't remember redeeming it, but it's really cute. So you open it up and here's the lipsticks and then you pull them out and it comes with four lipsticks and a lip brush. Like this is the coolest sample ever. It comes with a tiny travel lip brush. Like what? This is so cute and it has its own little cap so you can actually like keep it and use it again. This is really cool, Dior. I love this. This is this is a great sample. I can't wait to try those. And then lastly in here, I did hit VIB Rouge again, like I said earlier, so I did redeem my little box thing. So this is what it looks like this year. It says VIB Rouge, Marc Jacobs Beauty on it. And then, whoo, it just has this card in here. It just says congrats to another year. And then all the good stuff that you get for being a Rouge member. And then inside is this super tiny, cute little Marc Jacobs lipstick. And I was really excited this year. I can't remember what we got last year. Oh, it was a Bite Beauty lipstick, which I don't really use, but I don't really wear reds all that often, but it's super cute. But I like that they did Marc Jacobs because I've seen a lot of people use his lipsticks. And so I really wanted to try out the formula and see if I loved it. I don't know if I'm going to wear the red all that often, but I want to try it for the formula. Like, look how tiny and cute that is. It's like the size of my thumb. And I just love his packaging. His packaging is really great. And this is the lipstick right here. Isn't it adorable? Uh, let me see. Let me swatch it. Oh, it's actually really pretty red. Okay, I might wear this red actually. It's, it's like a dark blue burgundy red. On camera it's showing a little like bright red, but in person it's like a dark perfect like winter red. Ooh, that actually has a really nice finish to it, too. Okay, I might have to try it. I might have to try it. 
I will let you guys know on that one too. So that is everything for my Sephora VIB 20% off haul. I hope you guys enjoyed watching me unfold all the damage that is in here. Definitely give this video a thumbs up so you let me know that you like hauls and if I should get more things. Let me know what you guys got with the VIB 20% off if you were the Rouge or the Beauty Insider. Let me know what you guys got. Anything else that I missed that I should have got? Let me know. Holidays are coming. I'll put them on my wish list. And also let me know if there's anything here that you would like a full in-depth review on swatches blog posts video posts etc 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 and thank you guys so much for watching definitely hit that subscribe button too because i have lots of new tutorials and videos they more reviews on some of these products so i will see you guys in my next video bye